Hi guys, Legend5550 here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the Corona brightness on my locomotives. So, a lot of you that have my content know that my headlights are bright. They're all bright. And there's no particular reason as to why they're like that. I like um, Osunami's Berkshire with his bright headlight and all that. And so I was a big fan of that. And that inspired me to do my headlight system the same way. And so I will show you guys how to turn down the intensity as well as change the Corona effect. And so I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. Let's cut these off. So I'll use the M2 as an example. Perfect example for this. Just got released. Um... The 080 here has a smaller Corona, it's different than the rest of everyone else's, and it's not as bright. It's perfect for the locomotive itself. And I'm going to use that Corona effect and show you guys how to get that one onto the M2. So, first thing you're going to want to do is close your game and head over to the Content Manager. From here, you want to make sure you have everything visible so set your filter to all content for me in this case it'll be easier for me I'll just set, set it to my content and you're gonna search the locomotive you want to change the corona brightness on so I'm gonna type in the M2 you're gonna sit here and let that load BAM cool so the M2 shows up here I'm gonna right click the M2 I'm gonna go open I'm gonna go to config and here it shows the config for the M2 so as we scroll down here, you'll see effects. And under the effects tag, there's a headlight. And so that is the main headlight tag. Now, the headlight has lots of features that you can use. And I will show you where to find those features from. If you go to the trains wiki, it shows you everything or every tag that, or container or whatever that can be used in that set tag. So, here we're going to use the max intensity. We're going to take the max intensity and add it under the headlight. And from there, make sure you have this uh, even. It just makes it neat. Alright, so from there, we're going to take the max intensity and change it from 1.0 to something like 0 0.4, 0 0.8. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to mess around with that value to get it to your liking but in this case I'll use 0 0.4 so we can use 0 0.4 and you know what while we're here we'll go ahead and take the object size and I probably already have that tag yes cool you can change the object size and make it bigger or smaller and it really doesn't matter how and you can save that now in the case of wanting to change a corona you would simply go back to the content manager, go to the download station, okay, um, you would type in Corona, pretty simple, but you won't know what Corona is what unless you go to your settings, go to general, and turn manage content as thumbnails on, and after that you can see what Coronas are available and what you can use. So. You will find a Corona that you'd like. I already have one installed, actually, so I'm going to go to installed. I'm going to find the Corona that I want. Let's use this one. So, I'll take that one. You want to click on it, press Control C. And then you want to go back in here and change the texture KUID to the one you want. And then you can save. So, what we did was change the object size, change the texture, and change the intensity. I'm not worried about anything else other than those three tags. That, those are the major elements of this. So after that, you want to go back to the locomotive that you were just editing. Usually when you open up a locomotive, it shows up and open for editing. You're going to search it again. And you're simply just going to press Control Shift E. Or you could right click and hit Submit Edits. And so you're going to sit here. We're going to let that commit. Okay, so after that, you're going to want to go into the game and test to see if your changes worked. So 
find a world, go to it, loading, 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 there we go, cool, so, go over to the locomotive, press L, see if it worked, bam, so, looks like it did change, and it got darker, let's compare it to the E6's headlight, A subtle difference. Again, you're going to have to play around with the values and play around with the corona effect. It all depends. So, looks like it works to an extent. But I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And uh, see you guys around.